we're going Dollar Tree shopping, so I hope you're going to come along. Hey everybody, it's Shelby with a Chick Plus 3. Welcome. I am going into one of my favorite Dollar Trees. I absolutely cannot wait, and I think instead of taking the usual route through the store, we're going to shake it up a little bit. So I hope you'll come along and join me. What do you say? Let's go. tree time and it is a different day um i'm wearing the same clothes probably in 90 percent of the videos because i just have like i guess a self-proclaimed um capsule wardrobe that's what i'll call it a capsule wardrobe but it is another day another dollar tree <laughs> Let's head in and how about we veer to the left? Oh, let's avoid that big old stain on the floor. <laughs> oh my. All right, sink strainers. Now I know it seems like a simple little thing, sink strainers and stoppers, but I am telling you the Dollar Tree ones are fabulous. Oh, that was upside down or backwards. I see now it's a set of two bowls. But back to the strainers. I use those rubberized ones. Um, they have mesh options also. I love the rubberized ones. I'm thinking Father's Day grilling. Hmm, tongs for hot dogs maybe would come in handy. I really like this set because you get the measuring cups with the matching measuring spoons. I mean, come on, $1.25, and you can't go wrong with classic white. But they've got them in red, too. Little toothpick, toothpick dispensers, two-piece. Those would be nice for hors d'oeuvres. And if you're going to be cooking some corn on the cob, these little corn, um, like forks, the holders, really make a difference in not burning your fingers, I find. Oh, look it. They have the snack bags here, the reusable ones by Full Circle, but these are in the clear plastic. I hauled for you guys the palm set that I picked up. Now here they are in clear also. You get two of these and they are safe for food storage. They're BPA free. And here's something brand new. What is this? Darnell Sustainable Cups. It's a package of 12. Huh. 100% recyclable materials they're made from, and they are made in Colombia. A brand new Dollar Tree find. I've never seen those before. All right, now here are some heavy duty paper cups, and these say they are for hot or cold, pack of 10. And then of course, these little, what I call medicine cups, you get a 36 count, but I like to use them in my diamond painting to hold the beads. These are another great thing to hold the beads in diamond painting are the condiment cups. You get a pack of 12 and they come with the little lids. And look at this, another huge pile of these brand new reusable snack bags. And they say you can use it up to 500 times, I guess, before it shows wear. So that is awesome. And I don't know, for me, summertime especially is the time where we need napkins, a pack of 150, or if you want the premium style, you get 50. And those do feel very like luxe. Well, here's another brand new product, Ferrelli, the original saltine crackers. Huh, that's interesting. 
There are 430 milligrams of sodium in these. We personally buy the unsalted um, saltine crackers. These are made in India. Long shelf life, 2025 is the best use by date. And what is this? Good Fields Trail Mix, but s'mores. Perfect for a summer hike or for a car ride. <laughs> If that's your type of hiking, nothing wrong with that. Going on a car hike. Pack a little snack. That's what Bill and I love to do. Just drive someplace and sit. Look for a change of scenery. And talking for car hikes, this is the perfect treat for me. My Landmark Confections Chocolate Covered Raisins. And what do we have here? Another brand new find. General Mills, that's a name brand, Golden Graham's S'mores Remix Snacking Mix. Little Golden Graham's, Cocoa Puffs, and Mini Marshmallows in there. That's fun and different. I've never seen that before. For three quarters of a cup, you get 110 calories and 140 milligrams of sodium. And uh, its best use by date is November of this year. So you definitely could have it for the summer. All right, and you know that I am in this aisle because I am looking for my chicken and a biscuit crackers. <laughs> I still haven't had any luck yet, guys. I was hoping today would be the day. Now this 3.95 ounce box of Breton uh, crackers does look tasty. All right, this package just totally jumped off the shelf at me. Look at the image on this. Bit of honey. I am a sucker for packaging. This candy is made in the USA, but I am terrified that it will pull off my fillings. It says a little chew will get you through. But I gotta say it does worry me with my dental work. And look at these marshmallow circus peanuts. I feel like you either love them or you hate them and I am in the family of hating them. I'm sorry. But these on the other hand, these caramel coconut macaroons are yummy. All right, moving on, let's see what we have here. A value pack, seven hangers for $1.25. I'm not so sure about that. What I do like, though, are the children's size hangers, and you get seven of those. Those are nice to tuck into your gift if you're going to a baby shower. And then they have these velvet two-packs. All right, this is Catching My Eye by Brillo Basics, a two-pack made in the USA, no scratch, no scratch scrubbing sponge. Now, of course, by Scrub Buddies, they have their two-pack here. This one is made in China. So you got your choice there. But now look at this. Here is an eight pack. So it says super value. And that has the sponge with the little scrubby uh, built on top too. They're just a little smaller size though. But you get eight of them. And I bet you know those larger ones, honestly, you could cut in half. I do that with the green scrubby pads. And they have Raid uh, four pack fly ribbon here. Buggables mosquito repellent wipes. You get two wipes. Oh, those would probably be good to throw in your car. If you're outside and you find you're being bugged by the bugs formulated in the USA. Oh, and they've got these uh, scrub buddies these 20 wet uh, sweeper pads are these the greatest no they're not super thick but they work in a pinch the Dollar Tree also has these made in the USA 
packs of mothballs. So I don't know if people still use mothballs. I'm assuming that they would like to put away their wool winter clothing, things like that, but you can find them at the Dollar Tree. Oh, and by Buggables, these I've seen before. These are the little citronella wristbands. And mosquito repelling coils. You get four coils, so I guess it'd be worth the shot to see if they work. I love anything to like store things, organize, and I just love these like crystallized plastic containers by Essentials. I'm telling you, I just saw the same type of thing at Target and it was certainly more than a dollar. 25 and I especially like this size I put it in my vegetable crisper drawer to corral smaller items like my garlic cloves and my shallots this is another really nice find I mean the quality on these is quite decent this is a step shelf. They show it there that you can use it for your spices, but each step is wide enough. You could even use it for mugs. And I also love these risers here. I use these in my cupboard so that I can put um, like the smaller luncheon plates below and then the wider dinner plates on top. And that way I don't have such a big old heavy pile of plates that I have to move just to take one out so it like disperses the weight and more organizing wire baskets here these are a nice size these are over a foot long i like baskets like this to put in drawers or other places to store things like my bread they have the round too so different sizes and shapes this is another really nice one I find this uh, rectangular one is nice and deep. It works really well for things like coffee pods if you use a Kerrig. But if you are fortunate enough to have a pantry, oh, this stuff would be so beautiful in it. And you can see they have all the same baskets but in gold. My pantry consists of a wire rack that hangs on the back of our cellar door. And they have the bamboo, bamboo skewers. You get 100 pieces in these. Now, they do recommend that you soak these guys in water before you use them. And then they also have, of course, the metal skewers. But those do get hot, so you have to use a pot holder. And the little travel dressing container. That's actually good to take shampoo and conditioner with you, too, when you're traveling. Now, some of these seasonings caught my eye. I'm not sure if I have seen this ranch seasoning before, but it could make your own like dips. So, packed in the USA, Kelowna is the company. So I thought that one was interesting. And this too, cilantro lime, that sounds pretty yummy. 125 milligrams of sodium in a quarter teaspoon for that. And then Badia Complete. So that's, I think, just a mix of all different seasonings. And that has 90 milligrams of sodium per one serving. And then seasoning salt memphis style barbecue seasoning those are huge containers and look at this coarse sea salt green briar and of course the ingredients are salt and then the kosher salt and again 16 ounces green briar and the ingredients are salt and a super fun activity I think to do with salt is you color it with colored chalk and then pour it in a bottle um, in layers. Really fun and cheap activity. 
And I'm not sure that I have seen cilantro leaves lately at the Dollar Tree. Another really nice seasoning and I think great for summer like salsas and salads and the ingredients are just straight up cilantro. Now last week I showed you this Kreider white chicken. It's made in Canada. Well look at this Dollar Tree has it in the dark chicken also, 230 milligrams of sodium in this one. It is a product of the USA. So I'm sorry, I said Canada. I think they are both from the USA. And of course, you know what I'm doing in this aisle. Always still looking for Uncle Al's cookies for Bill, which so far, no luck. But Little Dutch Maid makes some great cookies and this Global Brands shortbread cookies are some of our favorites, just like the ginger snaps. Those have a really sharp ginger flavor. Bud's Best Cookies, made proudly in the USA. It says vanilla wafers. They're bite-sized. Lots of wafer cookies. So I'll keep looking. All right, look at this. Now, I find zero Coke, zero Diet Coke at the Dollar Tree, but I've never found the Cherry Coca-Cola. I think that is a great score. And if you like orange soda, the only one we can find that is caffeine-free is the Fanta, and here it is at the Dollar Tree. I also love to organize myself on paper and these jot notebooks and journals are just adorable to do that. Look at this like um, holographic mushroom there and the browns and oranges very 1970s when I was in elementary school. That's what it's reminding me of but they have all different patterns. And these are some really fun notebooks too. Look at that. It looks like a Nintendo Switch. So if you have a gamer, I think they'd like to use that notebook or look at the butterflies. So these just don't have to be for kiddos for back to school. I just love having these notebooks on hand to just keep track of my to-do list, my monthly budget, things like that. This is always another fun aisle and it's always good to find something new. It pretty much never lets me down. Look at this butterfly hair clip in that like turquoisey blue and then this is more like a very soft pink and this is a really substantial, well-made feeling hair clip. And it's by Scoonchi, name brand. Body Cology. Now, I think I've showed the nourishing hand soaps in the past, but I don't recall ever seeing this scent. I love the square bottle of the packaging there. It's just really fun looking. Ooh, and look at this. Now this I've seen this brand at Target. New Yes Tomatoes. It's for clear skin, for breakout prone skin. It's a mask stick, so it looks like a stick roll-on deodorant, but a mask. That's a cool way to apply it. Alrighty, let's see, let's see. What else treasure can we find at the Dollar Tree today? Lots of shaving gels. I like to check out the makeup. Sassy and Chic. Spa April Showers. They always have out a lot of nice products. And what is this? Rimmel a gel bronzer and a blush different colors that one has like a peachy look looks to be about half full though i don't know maybe because it's on its side it's kind of lumped down 
Oh, and that flower bronzer compact, I picked that up a couple of weeks ago. And the packaging on this is so cute. Macaroons, macarons, I'm not sure what you call them, but apply the lip stain, it says. From the outer edge to the center, hmm, really cute packaging. Designed in the USA, made in China. And look at another flower product. The case on this lipstick is just like so substantial. I think that's why when I was a little kid, I thought makeup was so like magic potiony because the packaging, the bottles, the containers are very enticing, I think. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Here's another one. I think, is this Revlon? When they're repackaged, it's so hard for my old eyes to figure it out. L'Oreal. L'Oreal, not Revlon. Oh, it's L'Oreal. Nice, though. That's a pretty shade number Paris, 403. Number 403. Very pretty. And look at this. That's some crazy iridescent bag. Sally Hansen. Good, kind, pure. Vegan. Wow. That's pretty cool. It's a plant-based nail polish. I wonder if it has a mild scent. All right, and they had a few $5 items in here. So sling hockey, that looked kind of different and fun, but this was just a little end cap. And it looks pretty well clearly marked to let you know that they are indeed $5. All right, man, guys, Dollar Tree was mobbed. That's what I get for going in on Father's Day weekend. Poor cashier, one cashier and a long line, but everybody seemed to be in good spirits. Nobody was complaining, so I was very thankful about that. And I am just sitting at a red light, so um, I'm going to shut the camera off so when the light changes, I'm ready to go.